come to mind for me immediately. Download the the Cyber Law and Business Online. Report. Only on Webmaster Radio. Welcome to the Cyber Law and Business Report. Get the top story on the hot button internet legal topics of the day. This is your home for the latest on internet law and policy. Hear the latest net trends impacting business and have your questions answered right here. This is the Cyber Law and Business Report. Now, please welcome your host, the founder of the Internet at Law Center, Bennett Kelly. Good morning. This is Bennett Kelly broadcasting from Tempe, Arizona. We're here on business and I want to thank Howard Shanker, our Shanker Law Firm, for helping set us up. And um, so um, our guest today is a, a familiar guest, Art Neal, who is with the New Media Rights. We had him on almost a year ago to the date. And New Media Rights has a new fair use app. And they also have some other new things they have going that he's going to tell us about. Are, are you with us? I'm here. Good morning, Bennett. But for those who aren't acquainted, can you just you know, give us a, a two-minute description of fair use to the extent that that's doable? Absolutely. Well, no, I like this. I always like those tests. Can you can you describe this thing in two <laughs> minutes, right? That's fantastic. I mean, the thing about fair use is copyright is life plus 70 years, right? So if my son, a year and a half years old, drew something this morning – it's protected for his life. Hopefully, he lives a nice, long life, and it's uh, you know protected for a good 150, 200 years. Who knows? Now, the point is that copyright lasts a long time. It's quite broad, protects a lot of things. Fair use is the safety valve. Fair use is the one exception that al- it's the the main exception that allows you to reuse works without permission. And there's just certain circumstances, typically when you comment on something, when you are criticizing something, when you're creating a parody of something, when you're really reusing that thing, not for its original sort of uh, often, let's say, entertainment purpose, but actually reusing it and really transforming the original purpose or message. Transformation is very key. You look, it's basically a four-factor test that a court will look at and will say, you know, how do each of these factors come out? How much did you use? Did you use it? Were you selling it? Did you use it commercially? And then, as I said, the main inquiry tends to be, the really important inquiry tends to be, do you really transform it? And so the idea is that despite copyright, despite the fact that there's this monopoly over creativity, there's an exception and that you can reuse things without permission. And that's what fair use is. And that's what the fair use app is trying to explain. When can I reuse something without direct permission of the copyright owner? I want to once again thank our host today, Howard Shanker, a law school classmate here who practices law here in Tempe. We have information on his firm, but also right now I'm speaking to you from, the, I'm hopefully not butchering the name, the Huey Vayayama Law Firm, also here in Tempe, and um, they specialize in Indian law, Indian rights law, and so it is, it's, I want to thank them both for the, the hospitality they're showing me while I'm here in Tempe. That's all we have for this week. Tune in next week. We're going to have more Cyber Law and Business Report. Check us out on the web. Our blog is cyberlawradio.wordpress. Follow us on Twitter at Cyber Law Radio and let us know what you think. In addition, you know, this is on with the Internet Law Center. Check us out. We provide you know, a full range of Internet legal services. So we're on the web at internetlawcenter.net. And um, but that's all. Uh, enjoy the heat wherever you are, and uh, we'll be back next week for another edition of Cyber Law and Business Report only on WebmasterRadio.fm. And all our best to go to the families of the um, shooting victims of Virginia today, Allison Parker and Adam Ward. What a tragedy! been a presentation of webmasterradio.fm the world's largest business to business radio and podcast network we welcome you to sample past episodes of this program as well as our complete library of programs on demand or on the air via our 24 7 live audio stream at www.webmasterradio.fm the opinions expressed on this program 
are those of the guests and hosts and do not necessarily reflect those of webmasterradio.fm's management or sponsors. Any rebroadcast or redistribution without authorized consent of webmasterradio.fm is prohibited.